What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Um, so this is just a bit of an oddball, um, not a review, just a kind of video. Um, I, I, I've, as you know, I play a lot of video games, um, and I, I'm starting to collect them. Uh, very recently, I started to collect them not not even a year ago. Um, so I've been frequent, frequenting um, this shop called uh, Game Junkies, Classic Game Junkies it's called. It's in Glenside, PA. I live in PA, if you haven't figured that out, by all my uh, Eagles, Sixers shit, whatever. Um, and I had them repair my, my uh, brother's DS, my brother's Nintendo DS, and my sister's Nintendo DS. Um, as well as just a couple, you know, Pokemon games, Pokemon Silver and uh, Pokemon Platinum. Um, and they all have stories, you know, of course. Uh, my brother is 18 now, and my sister is 22. So they don't really, you know, they're not like their older brother. They're not like dorks like me, and they keep playing video games. And um, they, they just, I guess, well, Gabe, my brother, plays Xbox, but he doesn't really play, like, Nintendo or anything. And Ainsley just doesn't really play video games anymore. So uh, my sister gave me her DS, her uh, DS Lite. And my brother, of course, he's a little entrepreneur, made me... Um, buy it off of them but I, I i do like to have a bunch of colors I'm, i i i believe i'm going to start collecting like system colors especially handhelds for whatever reason really catch my eye um so i got them off of them and and you know my brothers was a mess still is kind of a mess so i took them both to the shop i took them to the shop in it it had to be no it was february it was february and it is now july and i just got him back obviously part of that's from covid but oh, the customer service over there is not the best i'm not going to lie um it's very odd they they they're like if you text or message them on facebook they'll get right back to you but it's just full of broken promises it's constantly oh i'll check and i'll get back to you they just never do it i'll call you later should be here Oh, it'll be done by this time. It's never done, never, and it's just, it's just want to rip my hair out. Um, but anyways, uh, my sister's was in a bit better condition. This is what it looks like now. Um, he didn't replace the fronts. He said they don't have the parts for it, which I don't really believe, but I'm not really sure. It cost thirty bucks to fix this thing. Um, there was a crack here. He fixed that. He replaced the screens. Screens are immaculate. Not exactly 100% sure what else he... Oh, he, he cleaned it, which was, you know, there was like Dorito dust and shit like that in here for my sister, you know, back in the day. Um, but I don't really remember because it was five months ago what exactly was wrong other than the crack and the screens were effed up with this. But I honestly am very happy with this one. It looks, in my opinion, it looks almost perfect. I mean, the front, if you look really close, is a bit scratched up but a good thing about these ds lights is they have like almost you know it feels like it's like a clear coat pretty much like a car would have um so it doesn't really scratch easily it's really not paint it's almost like a plastic cover over it so it doesn't really scratch the paint um so i think it looks beautiful he even gave me a little pen that wasn't in there uh when i dropped it off and he gave me one of these little things that covers the the uh game boy advance slot which drives me crazy so i'm happy he gave me one of those um, having this open just is like a thing of mine where it always would bother me if I didn't have my little thing to cover it. Um, so I think this is beautiful. This looks really great in my opinion. Um, and you know, the pink, I think back at, as a kid, I was like, Oh, you got a pink one. But now I'm like, who gives a fuck? I like the pink. Um, it's like almost like a white pink. It's really nice. Um, so that looks great. And, uh, I got this, this is my brother's. Um, he messed this thing up. This thing was effed. Uh, it still doesn't look great because, like I said, he didn't replace the front. Apparently, the shell, they don't have a shell, a replacement shell. I don't really buy it, but if you look closely here, he actually chewed it. It was either him or my dog, and I'm pretty sure it was him. Um, let me see if I can find Yeah, see that? Can you see that? He chewed it. Um, and there's a big bite mark out there in the front of it, that black thing right there. Let's see if I can focus it. It's not really focusing much, but there's a giant chip of where he bit it. Um, so there was that. There was also, I guess, the hinge, one of the hinges or something, snapped. So it was floppy. Like, as you can see now, like, I can hold it like this and it will stay. Um, it would just flop back like this. 
you know, it would just be like floppy. You could just do that. Um, so they fixed that, obviously. And once again, they replaced the screens. The screen looks excellent. The When it's open, it looks perfect. Um, but just the little bite marks on the side. Um, the bottom looks fine. You know, it looks, it's black. So he gave, once again, he gave me one of these, which is good because it didn't have that either. Um, and uh, no pen this time for some reason, but that's fine. It's just a black pen. I'm sure that's easier to find than the pink ones actually. So if any of, if either of them was going to get it, I would prefer the pink one so I can just order some black pens. Um, and yeah, honestly, I'm, at first I was like, I was a little disappointed that he didn't replace the front shells, but apparently they don't have that. I, I really don't believe him with that. I think I have to do a little research. Um, but again, 30 bucks to replace the screens. Um, he fixed the hinge, you know, gave me one of these things. I guess that's all right. You know, 30 bucks isn't breaking the bank, but still, you know, I, I would have liked if this was swapped. So, I mean, I'm satisfied, but it could have been better, you know. Um, so that's these two DSs right here. Um, brother and sisters, a little refurbish action. And then I also had my uh, copy of Pokemon Silver. Um, I needed it for a battery change, but he, he said there was water damage in it. I'm not really sure if he was mixing it up with a different game because I don't think there was water damage. I think just the battery needed to be swapped. And truth be told, I bought this game from him like years ago. So when I was in high school, I bought this game off of him. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't think I did anything with water on it, but whatever. Uh, he only charged me like, I think it was eight bucks to swap the battery out and apparently fix water damage. So I, I checked it. It works. That's great. Um, you know, this game is $80 online. This and gold are $80. So, you know, I obviously want it to work <laughs> and look pretty good. The label looks pretty solid. There's a little bit of, you know what, actually, now that you think about it, that is water, isn't it? But I didn't do that. That's definitely water on the, you can see on the front of it, there's like some of that little markings, you could almost say, like on Lugia's neck looks like water damage but that's weird because i didn't do anything with water hmm. anyway he fixed that and it saves now so that's great i have uh gold and so oh, i'm very blurry i have gold and silver now so that's good um i they didn't make a third no they did they made crystal so i have to get that i guess but um you know that's a very expensive game so i'm glad that that's working now and uh, the last thing i just i had was also platinum um and this was my brother's platinum game. Uh, at one point, I went through a phase when I was in like, you know, I forget, I was like a sophomore or something. And I was like, I'm done. Uh, I don't want to play Pokemon anymore. I'm done with it. And I traded all my games in like an idiot. And then like a week later, I bought them back, but I didn't buy platinum back. So my brother had platinum and he gave it to me. Well, I think, no, he gave it to me because it was broken. I said, oh, maybe I can get it fixed. So I took it to the store. Um... And he, he claims he fixed it, and he got it to work. And I came home, and I tried it on both of these DSs. Both of them said no cart inserted. And then I tried it on my 3DS, and it actually froze the thing. Like, I tried it three different times, and it was freezing the menu when I put this in. So I was like, uh, yeah, this doesn't work. <laughs> so um, I, it's, it was only 10 bucks to fix, but he claimed he fixed it. I, I can't get it to work on a, three different DSs, but I just asked him if I can have, like, a $10 credit or something when I go to the store, so... Um, but you know, I, I don't have an issue with him not being able to fix it, but I, I just wish he would have, you know, if, if he couldn't fix it, just tell me and not, don't charge me for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not sure if he claims he got it to work, but for me, I can't even get it to load. So I don't know, but hopefully he'll just give me the $10 and, and we can just go about our, our merry ways because I will, you know, I, I'm just starting to collect and I'm, I dive deep into stuff sometimes. So hopefully, you know, I could spend a lot of money at his store. So, you know. Maybe he'll give me my $10 and I won't have to go find another store because that would piss me off, you know. Little things like that. Plus the customer service adding up. It will, might push me to try to find a different gaming store, so. But, uh, yeah, that was just some things that I got repaired at the uh, the local game store. Um, you know, if you have one near you, it would be great to support it. Um, as long as, obviously, it's a good store with good people in there. Um, for example, I know this one is just a guy and his family. Um, his dad works there. You know, I, I don't think his wife works there, but I know he supports his family off of repairing video games and selling old ones. It's awesome. You walk in there, there's like, you know, X, like original Xbox games on the, on the wall, PS2 games, whatever, Sega Saturn, and, you know, they got all kinds of shit in there. Wii's, like, you can, it's it's crazy. It's really cool. It's like a GameStop. If GameStop was like a, like a, 
uh, what's it, what are those things that you, a time capsule? It was like a time capsule, you know, it's like from the eighties all the way to now, they sell the last of us too. And then they also sell, you know, freaking ice climbers, on the NES, like they have everything. It's really cool. Um, I've seen people go in there and, you know, they, it's like Pawn Stars. They go in there and they got, oh, I, I remember I went and one guy had boxed versions of Pokemon uh, Sapphire and Leaf Green. And he was selling them in the box, manual, everything. And, you know, they were going back and forth on price. That was cool to see. Um, so, yeah, it's just really cool. They sell, like, they, even, I, I remember I, one time I was there, I just bought uh, the Pokemon Ruby manual. It was just there for, like, 10 bucks. I was like, I'll take that. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's a manual from a game from 2003 that's close to my heart. Why not? You know, so I just, they sell cool stuff like that. You know, trading cards, um, T-shirts, swag stuff, models, or uh, uh, what are they called? Um, uh, uh, not models. What are they? Um. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What are the or, uh, statues or, or figures, whatever they are, you know, amiibos they got in there, all kinds of stuff for all different kinds of games. It's really cool. Um, and if you have one of those, you know, look around, look online. Um, it's definitely better to go to than GameStop, in my opinion. Um, you don't have somebody breathing down your neck the whole time. Um, even though, you know, at this particular one, the customer service isn't really that great. It's kind of the opposite of GameStop. I guess you could argue GameStop has good customer service unless they're bothering you about something all the time about pre-ordering everything for some reason they always want you to pre-order shit i'm like i don't want to pre-order it <laughs> leave me alone and then oh well you know this is coming out i'm like dude just please i want to buy lego star wars for the 3ds can you just leave me alone <laughs> um but you know it, it's cool it local i think that local stuff is just really cool so if you have one around you know you should definitely check it out or even like a pawn shop or something it, it's just cool stuff so uh you know that's the end of this video thank you for watching